I got so dark in Mexico, oh my god. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome home. My name is Sonia and I'm so happy you upon this channel. Today, I am going to be presenting to you my 2023 updated bookshelf tour. Once again, cue the montage. <laughs> bookshelf tour I wanted to do it a little bit more differently if you remember from last year my bookshelf tour was an hour and 25 minutes long and I literally don't have time to sit through three hours worth of footage so I'm gonna try and go through my shelves as quick as I possibly can feel free to pause the video if you want to like look more ex extensively at the books on my shelves because this time I'm not going to be like pulling out the books that I want to talk about. I'm literally just going to point and move on. Once again, for the sake of time, I really don't want to edit a three hour long raw footage video. So be warned, there's going to be a few weird angles because I'm not using a tripod. I'm too lazy to take it out. And it's a little dark. It's a little cloudy outside. So the lighting may not be like 100%, but you can still see all of the books. And in terms of organization, it's the same way as it has been organized since I started my channel. My white shelves over here with my Harry Potter, that is my classics corner. My two brown shelves over here hold the majority of my young adult fantasy books. The bit nice, beautiful, dark academia um, shelf that I just installed this year holds most of my fairy loot exclusive edition books and it has a few non-exclusive edition books on there as well my book cart is literally all of, all over the place it's got no specific genre it holds whatever it holds and then my two white shelves over here underneath my window has my graphic novels on top and then the rest are my contemporary slash romance slash fiction books. But yeah, I think that covers it. And then again, like where I got my shelves and stuff, I don't know. These two shelves my parents had got me and my brother when we were like children at some garage sale. And then my white shelves, they're both storage units. I just converted them into bookshelves by taking out their bins and then my classic shelves over here were they're supposed to be nightstands but i just stacked them on top of each other my book cart i got from target and then my dark academia um bookshelf with all of my fairy loot exclusive editions on it that one i got from amazon i'll be sure to link those in the description but for the brown shelves and the white shelves it's a little bit different story but yeah enough talking let's go ahead and get into this bookshelf tour here is my classic shelf and can we just like take a moment to appreciate Excalibur? Like he brings out my beautiful aesthetic of my, this part of my room and I love him so, so freaking much. I just, I love this sword. However, as much as I love you, it's not your time right now. So let's go ahead and let's move you over and let's get into the books. So the first thing I have on my white shelves is my little Harry Potter collection. As you can see, here are all of the Harry Potter books I've owned. Yes, I've got three copies of the first book. Please do not judge me. But here is my Harry Potter books. Up next is one of my favorite classic shelves. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I love this shelf so much because of the aesthetic and the way everything looks. You've got my Peter Pan, Mina Lima exclusive editions. We've got the Barnes & Noble Alice in Wonderland and Jane Austen. And then I've also got my Funko Pops that my one of my good friends got me for my birthday. Ugh love next is some more classics one of my favorites on this shelf is definitely going to be the chronicles of narnia and the little prince i loved the little prince you guys if you haven't read it highly recommend 
five out of five stars for me. It was great. Next, we've got this shelf. This is basically my Jane Austen shelf. Majority of these are Jane Austen. But my favorite book on here is The Picture Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Loved it so much. I did not think I was going to like it as much as I did. And I ended up loving it. So highly recommend that one. And then my final shelf is my, basically my Hobbit and Lord of the Rings shelf. If you haven't read The Lord of the Rings, highly recommend it. Amazing. Love it, love it, love it. And the book that I want to read the most on here is probably either The Art of War or Wuthering Heights. I have been wanting to read Wuthering Heights for such a long time, so I'm trying to look for an audiobook so I can go ahead and read it because it has been taking me way too long to get into that book. I also completely forgot to mention these two pin banners I got from Fairy Loot. This is filled with a bunch of Fairy Loot um, pins. The only ones that are not from Fairy Loot is, I believe, this one. And then this one, my friend Michelle got me for my birthday. And then this one is just a Disneyland lanyard. I put all of my Marvel enamel pins on here that my dad got me. And then I have this cute little Peter and Wendy enamel pin that I just had to get when I went to Disneyland. It's so, so adorable. And then this one has yet to be filled, but it will be filled soon. All right, so starting it off with the top of my shelf, we've got my Sherlock Holmes collection, my War and Peace collection, and my Time Turner that my brother got me. Next, we've got Hedwig and some Harry Potter slash Legend of Zelda inspired potions, Harry Potter Funko Pop, and The Elder's Wand in a painting that I painted a while back ago. Over in this corner, we've got a medieval crown, my very first fairy loot box, a little letter box that says not enough books, a secret book, my After I Lost Airbender graphics, a photo album from fairy loot, and two secret books from fairy loot as well. And over here, we just have a few art prints, and these two right here are from Fairy Loot. Coming up first, we have my very first shelf on my brown shelves. This shelf is probably my least read shelf. The only books that I've read on here was the Red Queen series, not including Cruel Crown, and The Prison Healer. Everything else I have yet to read. <laughs> And this is a Bear in the Nightingale ceramic mug from Fairy Loot. Coming up in my second shelf on my brown shelves, this is probably my favorite shelf because this is my Sarah J. Moss shelf. We've got the Throne of Glass series here, my Fairy Loot exclusive editions of House of Earth and Blood, the Collector's Edition of Throne of Glass, and A Court of Thorns and Roses right there. And behind everything, behind my collector's edition, is my regular editions of House of Earth and Blood. And then we've got a art print of Rezand and Feyre, and of course, my man, Asriel. My third shelf is my Rick Riordan shelf. We just basically have everything Rick Riordan. We've got the Magnus Chase series, King Chronicles, my Percy Jackson collection, as well as the Trials of Apollo. And then the trinkets on here, that is just a little clay rose my cousin made. This is a little trinket dish from Fairy Loot. I forgot who these guys are, but they were from the January Greek Mythology box. And then we've got two of these pillars on each side of the shelf. These are not Roman or Greek pillars. I believe there's some type of pillar from India. I could be totally wrong, but they just reminded me like of Greek columns, so I put them here. Okay, we're at a weird angle, apologies, but this is another one of my young adult fantasy shelves. This is probably one of my favorite shelves because I loved all of the books on here except for Girls of Fate and Fury. Um, highly recommend the Caravel series, the Renegade series, the Cruel Prince series. I love these ones so much. I like literally will bow down to them anytime, any day. Love those guys. I have yet to read The Stolen Air, but I'm very, very excited to. And fun fact, I haven't read the Sky series just yet. I have been wanting to read them. I just haven't gone to them. And I haven't finished A Curse So Dark and Lonely yet. I'm on book two and three. I haven't read those two yet, but hopefully in the future I can get to it. And the only trinket on this shelf is this Cardin little trinket dish, once again, from Fairy Loot. Okay, I honestly can't tell how good this angle is, but we're going to try our hardest to make it work. This is the bottom of my brown shelf, and this is basically kind of like my dystopian books. Um, not really much to this one, to be completely honest with you, 
but yeah i've got the chatter me series one of my favorite series as well and the girl at midnight by melissa gray which was the book that got me back into reading coming up on this shelf yes this stack of books is enormously high but that is totally fine because it keeps the books in line um this shelf is more young adult fantasy we've got my aurora rising trilogy absolutely love those books we've got my avatar books the rise of kiyoshi love those ones as well and one book that I'm really excited to pick up and start reading is Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. I have not read that yet, but I've heard so many good things about it, and I literally cannot wait to get into it. The only trinkets here are this little quote that I made and put into a frame. It just says, the butterfly often forgets it once was a caterpillar. And then I've got this i honestly don't remember oh it says right here this is the daughter of the moon goddess collectible mug and this is from fairy loot next is my cassandra claire shelf as you can see we have a little bit of room because i have some very very exciting collectibles coming in the mail pretty soon but this is what i have so far this is my collection um basically all of the mortal instrument series i haven't read the shadow hunters codex or the lady midnight trilogy just yet I've been super behind. I haven't had time to read those books. I also haven't read these three right here, and I've had these ones for a long, long time. I'm thinking of picking up the audiobooks for these just so I can, like, start getting the ball rolling on it, but here's my Cassandra Clare shelf. Cannot wait for those special editions to come in, and I will be posting all about them, so stay tuned for that. And then the trinkets here is this Will Herondale um trinket dish from fairy loot i'm pretty sure this is will i honestly just forgot i'm gonna assume this is will though i've got this cute little key apologies for my shadow and then this cute little eiffel tower for some reason i just thought the eiffel tower like matched with the aesthetic of this shelf so i put it there and then that is just some brown mail that has my address so i can't really show you guys Coming up next, this is some more young adult fantasy. We've got my DC Icon series. If you guys are a fan of DC Comics, I highly recommend you pick up this series. I absolutely love it. Catwoman is my favorite one in the series. The Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy, which I cannot wait to finally get into. I've been waiting until October to pick them up because of the spooky season vibes, but I might just go ahead and pick them up like now. Um, a few books that I really want to read on this shelf is definitely Legendborn and definitely These Violet Delights. I haven't read that series, those two series yet, and I'm really excited to. And then the trinkets on this shelf is I've got this Wicked Hearts playing card set from Fairy Loot, a Kingdom of the Wicked ceramic mug from Fairy Loot, and then this Threads of Fate card set as well, also from Fairy Loot. Just a fair warning, the majority of my trinkets are from Fairy Loot. <laughs> Okay, this is my other shelf. I can't exactly like zoom all the way out, but here's what it looks like. So this is kind of like my high fantasy shelf. We've got Fire and Blood, Power of the Orange Tree, the Aragon series, my From Blood and Ash series, and then we've got a few Aiden Thomas books as well. Um, the only trinkets on here is this beautiful little trinket dish. I don't remember who this one, is, who this is, but. I wanted to put this one here. Then we have a From Blood and Ash ceramic mug, also from Fairy Loot. And then we've got my little bookmark holder, which that is a lot of bookmarks. I never realized I had that much. But this is a Crescent City House of Earth and Blood flower pot. I do not have a green thumb, so I decided to use this as a bookmark holder because I get I don't have a green thumb. But yeah, that's this shelf. And coming down to the last shelf on my brown shelves, this is some more, like, young adult fantasy slash supernatural. So we've got my Crave series, the Beautiful series, we've got Hush Hush. This was originally, like, just supernatural, but because I kept accumulating a lot more books, I had to, like, move some stuff around. So that's why, like, Light Lark, Kingdom of Back, and Black Canary are here. They're a little out of place, but I literally had no other place to put them. So that's like the only outlier in this shelf. But yeah, this is, that's that shelf. And the only thing on here is my little eco candle from the Lunar Chronicles. This is from Fairy Loot. Moving on to what I like to call my exclusive edition shelf. This bad boy is filled with 
literally 99% of my exclusive edition books. So let's get into this one. On top, we've got one of my favorite shelves because it has my favorite color, pink in it. So we have Once Upon a Broken Heart. We've got the Spin the Dawn series and the Six Crimson Grain duology, all by Elizabeth Lim. So the only non fairyloom book on here is The Ballad of Never After. And then that little trinket tea holder, I think is what it's called. That was also from Fairy Loot. And I thought it just matched the aesthetic of this shelf perfectly. So I was like, you're going on top, bestie. Love, love, love this shelf. Next, we have my sprayed edges shelf and as well as my tote bag from Story Arts and another tote bag from Fairy Loot. But this is another one of my favorite shelves because it shows some of my most beautiful stencil edges. Like, I love them. This, These are all from Fairloot. So this is Spice Road. This is the Daughter of the Moon Goddess duology. The Darkening, I believe. Um, I don't remember these ones. I know this one's Cruel Attentions. I don't remember these two. But pretty. Love it. Beautiful. Stunning. Next, we have this shelf. As per usual, this is from Fairy Loot, and all of these are from Fairy Loot. And these two little magnets I got from my best friend Maria. Next, we have this shelf. The only trinket on here is just a picture of me and my family at the Harry Potter Studios in London. And here's the shelf. The only book that's not a Fairy Loot edition is Defend the Dawn by Bridget Kemmer. And then to hold the book up, I've got these beautiful circus bookends that I got from Fairy Loot. Now, this is the bottom shelf. This shelf is like a complete mess, if you ask me. I've got a mix of my Illumicrate and Fairy Loot books on here. So in the back, because I'm too lazy, I'm not going to take all of the books off. We've got some of those. The only ones that are not Fairy Loot exclusive editions is A Song of Race and Ruin. And then we've got these books. Sun in the Void. Let's just, I want to appreciate the Sun in the Void. This was the recent Illumicrates book. I think this is June's. Just look at how stunning this is. It's stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. And I love it so, so much. And yeah, I'm pretty, if you guys watch my other Fairy Loot unboxings, you'll see like the books on these ones. Again, I just really don't want to take them out. And then we've got these books as well. They just go on top right here. And if you're wondering, Sonia, why do you just have them like, stacked on top of each other or why don't you put them on your shelves i have no room for any of these books so for now they're just they're gonna be chilling here until i can find another bookshelf or better yet find more space to put these books moving on to my lovely book cart this thing is packed here is what the first side looks like we've got all of these beautiful 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 books haven't read a single one of these ones yet. And then on shelf two, we've got my beautiful, beautiful Marvel books. I just got the Winter Soldier Cold Front. And I'm so happy. As many of you know, Bucky is my favorite Marvel character. So when I found out about Winter Soldier, I was going crazy. And then we've got Gamora Nebula and Loki. Those two I have not read yet, but I am super, super excited. I've just been waiting because I wanted to read all three of these together. And then we've got Peter Nimble and his fantastic eyes. I said it before and I'll say it again. If you haven't read Peter Nimble, highly, highly recommend. It is an amazing read. Same thing with the A Study in Charlotte series by Brittany Calvario. Highly recommend if you are a Sherlock Holmes fan. And here is the final shelf on my book cart the only books i've read on this shelf was the song of achilles and ready player one the book that i want to read the most on this shelf is probably gonna have to be the girl who drank the moon i don't know why but this cover just like it gives me such peter pan vibes and i i don't know why i just it just gives me peter pan vibes when i saw this in goodwill i was like yes i'm taking it so i'm really excited to get to this one Okay, here's the back of the book cart. So on the top, we've got a bunch of book sleeves from Fairy Loot, two reading journals, and a journal that my dad got me for my birthday. In the back of the second shelf, I have a bunch of my picture books. So I had no room to put them, so I put them here for the time being. And the final shelf is my where my Lunar Chronicles series is being hidden, as well as Bone Crier's Moon and Mirage. 
And then the only thing on this one is this roll the dice reading list game that I got from Fairy Loot as well. So the back is a lot more um, kind of like out of place, I guess, but they were these were literally the only place I could put these books. So we're working with what we got. And then hanging right behind my book cart is some Fairy Loot totes. The first one that's hanging outside is my From Blood and Ash one, which I love the most. I just love the artwork of the characters so freaking much, so I wanted them out first. And on to my final shelves. This is kind of like my contemporary slash romance shelves. So on top, we've got my little Eiffel Tower, a little cute picture I found from Pinterest I just printed out, my little Polaroid camera, and right here in the center of it all is all of my graphic novels and poems. My favorite, favorite ones are my DC ones. Absolutely love the Teen Titans graphic novels. Cannot wait for Robin to be in my possession, and I cannot wait for Starfire to come out. Absolutely love them so, so, so much. And then coming over here, we have a little bit of a mess. Um, we've got a Hogwarts candle, and this was a secret one, and I ended up getting Ravenclaw. And we've got a bunch of mini Funko Pops. They are Marvel. So I've got Shiri, Mubaku, and of course, Adam Warlock. Can't forget about him. And then we've got this little To the Girl Who Read quote that I loved so much that I printed out as well. My diffuser and this really cool Iron Man um, mouse that I got from birthday. And I'm really excited to use this one. So if you're wondering why I've got a bunch of like Marvel stuff over here, it's because I am trying to make a Marvel shrine on this wall i just have to get my floating shelves and i have to make sure that you know it actually will fit over here so that is a project in progress right now i literally have been envisioning this marvel shrine for such a long time and i'm like accumulating all of my little funko pops and my marvel merchandise so i can decorate that shelf but yeah that's so that's the top of the shelf Oh, and I did rainbow organize this part of my library only because I'm not as picky as I am with my brown shelves. So I was okay with the books kind of being a little bit out of the place because I thought it looked really nice, the rainbow with the white shelves. And I've had it ever since I put these in my room and I just kept it that way. And it really grew on me. So yeah. Here is my first white shelf. I am extremely excited to get into the phone booth at the ed edge of the world. I saw the cover for that book and I was just obsessed. So I really want to get into that book. The only trinkets I have is this cute little teddy bear that I found in my closet and two little Eiffel Tower keychains. And these moon fairy lights I got from Fairy Loot. The second shelf has my To All the Boys I Love Before trilogy, which I absolutely loved. To be completely honest with you guys, the books are so much better. Like, the first movie was great, but the second and third movie that Netflix released, not so great. 100% prefer the books over the movies. And good, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder is something that I need to read. I'm just waiting until October for those spooky vibes, but I've heard a lot of great things about that book as well. Next, we have the start of the pink shelf. As you can tell, I'm in the middle of Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. And I really want to read Girl in Pieces. I have seen people like do those mini vlogs on TikTok when they're reading Girl in Pieces and they just start crying at like page 10 or something. So I found it in Goodwill and I bought it because I'm like, I need to know what's going on with this book because I have no idea what it's about. So I bought it and I'm thinking of going into it after Love on the Brain, but I have no idea. But that's this shelf. Here is the start of my red slash orange shelf. I really want to get into Crazy Rich Asians and When Dimple Met Rishi. I was supposed to read those books back in February, but I got a little sidetracked. So unfortunately, I didn't get into it. But I did read The Spanish Love Deception, which, OMG, I loved. Literally loved so freaking much. Loved it. I don't really see it as much as an enemies to lovers type of deal. But still, nonetheless, loved it. It was so, so freaking good. All right, the more down we go, the weirder the lighting's gonna get, so excuse that. But here is my orange and yellow shelf. I loved Lola and the Boy Next Door. If you haven't read this series, highly recommend. And I do really want to read all this time because I read Five Feet Apart, loved it. 
and the, that book is by the same authors, I believe, and I just, I really want to read it. Same thing with Bookish and the Beast. I read Greek Arella a while ago, and I still haven't picked up this book, so I need to actually get on that, but that's the shelf. Next, here's the start of my green slash blue shelf. I want to read Eliza and Her Monsters so freaking badly. I have had the book for such a long time. I have no idea what's taking me so long. Legit, no idea. But I want to read it super, super badly. And I also want to read Isla and the Happily Ever After because this is the third book, I believe, in the Anna and the French Kiss series. And I love Lola and the Boy Next Door so much. And I finally found this book. So I really want to get into it and like finish the series because I feel like I'm going to love this book as well. Next, we're with the blue books. My favorite book on the shelf is going to have to be Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls. If you guys want to mind fuck, literally read that book. Like, I don't even want to tell you. I read it during my 24-hour readathon a couple of years ago, I think, or maybe last year. And lordy, like, this book, just read it. Literally, if you're into thrillers and psycho like, psychological thrillers, read Suicide Notes from Beautiful Girls. And then the only trinket I have on here is this little, what is this called? Snow globe that my dad got me from Ohio. This shelf has some of my favorite romance books. We've got The Hating Game. We've got The Love Hypothesis. I love those two books. I know that there's a bunch of mixed reviews on these two books, but to be honest, I only found out about them through Book Talk, and I read them, and I loved them. Hating Game has the enemies to lovers that I was looking for, and it was a little bit more steamier than I thought it was going to be. It's not as spicy as Book Talk claims it to be. It's really not, but I still loved it nonetheless. And I also actually really liked the TV series, I believe, or not TV series, the movie. It's just, it's great. I loved the movie, and I loved the book. So that's just my opinion, though. Loved it so much. Love Hypothesis loved so much as well. It's not steamy. It does have a spicy scene in it, but that's really it. But yeah, so that's the shelf. Okay, we're going to be at a weird angle because this is literally at the bottom shelf. But we've got my purple slash black books now. Um, the book that I loved the most on this shelf was You've Reached Sam by Dustin Thal. I literally had an emotional roller coaster reading that book. So freaking good. I loved it so much. If you haven't read it, highly recommend it. And I also loved Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. I read that a few years ago. I read it in one day during my trip to Sedona. Loved it. Highly recommend. I really want to read A Holly Jolly Duvalet and The X Hex. I want to read those books. I want to read The X Hex during October. I know that there's a lot of spooky season vibe books I'm trying to read in October, but let's see if I actually read them. But those are some of the books I want to read. And then I have T'Challa right here just protecting my books for me. On this shelf, I really want to read Haunting Adeline. My cousin loves the Haunting Adeline duology and she keeps telling me to read them. So I found them for a good price and I bought them. So now it's just a matter of reading them. I did re read Punk 57. Loved it. I highly recommend it. Um, kind of want to do a reread on it. If I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. But Haunting Adeline is my number one priority on this shelf. And then finally, my last shelf in my library is my black slash purple slash brown books. On this shelf, I would highly recommend my so-called Bollywood Life by Nisha Sharma. If you haven't read this book, highly recommend, especially if you are a huge Bollywood lover like me. I loved it way better than I thought it was going to be. Five out of five for me. Loved it so much. And that is my updated 2023 bookshelf tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a bit rushed, but I really didn't want to go through like three hours worth of footage. So I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Be on the lookout for some more bookish videos. I know I haven't been posting as much. I have just been really swamped with law school applications and I just honestly haven't been home and I haven't been reading as much. So hopefully now that I'm slowly turning in applications, I can start picking up on my reading. Um, I want to try to do a weekly reading vlog. I just don't know how well that's going to go. We'll see. But yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.